Hey everybody, this is Dave. I'm uh, continuing to build and improve the uh, leg section of my B9 robot. Um, the problem I recently ran into was the um, rotation gear being kind of sloppy in certain areas as it rotated. And this was because uh, this, this little drive gear here was not matching up properly as far as the gap with the main big gear. Uh, and be, be, why that is is because of human error in the way I built this and the holes that were drilled. This is all dr built by hand. Um, everything's just a little bit off. So when it got to one side of the rotation, it would be kind of sloppy and loose. And when it got to the other side of the rotation, it would be nice and tight. So what would happen in the end was as it would rotate and stop in certain spots, Spots, the torso would kind of shake a little bit and um, another spot it would be nice and tight and then it would come back and it would rock a little bit as it turned and I didn't like that at all it didn't look good didn't look right um, so I asked a couple friends of mine on uh, the news group uh, easy robots what they thought about uh, designing a self-tensioning motor mount and uh, one of the guys came up with an idea of using a uh, self-closing door hinge is what I use it worked out pretty good you can see right here I've got that in there so this piece right here is a self-closing adjustable door hinge you can see these little holes here um, basically you can use a allen wrench or, or uh, some other kind of tool and bend that over there's a spring back there and put a little pin in there and uh, so all I really did was uh, take that three inch adjustable door pin, door hinge, I got from Ace Hardware. Two of them cost me 15 bucks. Mounted one side right to the side of uh, the leg section bracket here. And uh, I may, I cut a little aluminum plate out of an uh, eighth inch plate to fit onto there. And drilled holes and got some U-bolts and mounted my motor on there. You can see it, it pivots. It's got a nice little slap to it and it holds it in there nice and tight. So like I said as it rolls around it tensions it right into the into the teeth there and it always runs true. And it's pretty slick. It's pretty slick. Uh, the only thing I had to do here was uh, you can see that white piece is a piece of a seal um, because my my uh, motor is oddly shaped, there was a little gap in the bottom. So what I did was I um, got that piece of acetal and traced it out and cut it out as a spacer. And um, there we uh, drill some holes through it, and the the U bolts go right through it, and it makes it nice and tight and firm, and everything else. Um, quick tour here. The bottom of that motor has got a, um, an encoder on it down here and it's all hooked into down below you can see uh, the saber tooth uh, drive unit a motor controller and that's my EZB version 4 back here that controls everything. So the EZB, yeah, the EZB version 4 sends uh, serial commands through the UART um, port here to the little kangaroo that's that's down there uh, and the kangaroo uh, controls the saber tooth which is actually the motor controller the motor driver that drives this motor right here and uh, my other motor here but we won't get into that so basically um, let me show you how nice it works um, I've got uh, easy robot easy builder um, right now will control an animation uh, script that I wrote. If I start this here, it should start up. Let's keep your fingers closed. There we go. Okay, it's just a loop that I've got and um, different positions. And you can see basically how nice it tracks. And watch the bottom down there. I hope you can see that it just kind of adjusts as it goes. See it bouncing?
Really nice and true, nice and tight. Self adjust. The little spring in there is really doing the job. So like I said, you can pull it away. You can kind of see the spring back in there and everything. And it also has, acts as kind of a little, uh, a little clutch. Pretty sweet. I just want to thank the guys that helped me come up with this idea. And uh, I think it worked out really great. So just a little video here to show you how it turned out. Thanks for everything and thanks for watching. Bye bye.